Almost everything you think you know about Nostradamus is wrong. In the past 50 or so years, most translators of Nostradamus used the 1568 edition of Nostradamus in their translations. That book has recently been proven to be an early forgery due to an analysis by Authentograph, a historical document and rare book authentication company. That's right, the famous 1568 edition used by almost every Nostradamus translator in the past 50 years is now known to be a fake. The reason is, it had the name of the printer, Benoit or God, incorrectly set on the title page. Other works by this printer in the same period of the mid-16th century used a combination of upper and lower case letters for the name Benoit or God. The fake 1568 Nostradamus edition incorrectly used all capital letters for the printer's name. The type style of the letters used for Lyon is also incorrect. Now that the most famous Nostradamus edition has been proven to be an early fake, one can understand how the works of Nostradamus were often so badly translated. However, there is a new edition of Nostradamus's prophecies known as the 1566 edition Princeps that was discovered recently. This edition is the only known 1566 edition with the correct number of quatrains in it. All other known 1566 dated editions have the wrong amount of quatrains in them and are early forgeries like the 1568 edition. The person that owns this one-of-a-kind 1566 edition has become quite famous recently due to his uncanny ability to predict exact details about the future. Is the reason he is so accurate in his prophecies due to his owning the true work of Nostradamus? Nostradamus was born in St. Remy, France on December 14, 1503. His name at birth was Michel Nostradam. Later he would change his name to Nostradamus. In Latin, Nostra means of our own and Damus means destruction. Perhaps Nostradamus used his name to warn of the ultimate fate of humanity, of our own destruction. Nostradamus died on July 2nd, 1566, at the age of 62 in Ceylon, France. He is today known as the world's most famous prophet. In his time, he was employed by the Queen of France, Catherine de Medici, the wife of King Henry II, as a royal physician in ordinary. He was a well-known physician and astrologer in his day. Nostradamus gained some fame early in his medical practice for his unorthodox treatment of persons infected with the plague. However, his treatments did not save his first wife and family who died of the disease. After fighting several outbreaks associated with the plague, Nostradamus settled in Ceylon, where he published several books during his life. Before Nostradamus died, he had gained a vast reputation as a seer because he predicted that King Henry II would be killed in a dueling match. His prophecies were initially published in almanacs. He also published the first seven of his ten centuries that make up his famous Les Prophéties before he died. The final three centuries were added to this work after his death. His prophecies were written as quatrains four-lined poetic verses which used the French of his day along with Latin, Greek, and Hebrew words. Nostradamus also used many alchemy words and phrases, so to an untrained eye not familiar with his occult codes, his quatrains can be easily misunderstood. However, if you understand his simple codes, the quatrains are a clear description of the future. The first major prophecy Nostradamus gained fame for was about the future death of King Henry II. It is Quatrain, Century 1, verse 35. The King of France died in a jousting tournament. He wore a helmet of gold. A splinter from the jousting pole entered his eye and lodged in his brain. The splinter entered through a small slit in his golden cage, or face mask. Century 1, verse 35. The young lion will overcome the older one. In a field of combat, in single fight, he will pierce his eyes in their golden cage, two wounds in one, then he dies a cruel death. When the death of Henry II occurred, from that moment on the legend of Nostradamus was born. 
After the death of Nostradamus, his complete quatrains were published in 1566 as Les Prophéties de Michel Nostradamus. They have been reprinted continuously ever since. It is next to the Bible one of the most printed books in the history of man. Over the years, several additional quatrains and even centuries have been appended to his work. Most Nostradamus experts agree that he only wrote 941 quatrains, 100 for each century from century 1 to 10. There are two exceptions to the 100 quatrains per century rule. Century 6 has only 99 quatrains, and in century 7 he only placed 42 quatrains in his final edition of Les Prophéties. Earlier editions had 41 quatrains in century 7. By placing 41 quatrains in century 7, Nostradamus drew attention to the number 741. The reverse of 741 is 147, or the date of the French Revolution. It is also the date of the birth of Solog, the famous modern-day Nostradamus translator.